नमस्कार दोस्तों वेलकम टू एस सी एल टेक इफ़ यू आर प्लानिंग टू इंस्टॉल लिनक्स ऑन योर लैपटॉप और पी सी एंड यू हैव मैनी ऑप्शन मैनी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टू चूज लाइक काली लिनक्स लिनक्स मिंट एंड ऑल बट ऑल ऑफ इन ऑल द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यू हैव चूज इन ओबन टू एज योर लिनक्स एनवायरमेंट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल ईजिली ओबन टू ऑन योर लैपटॉप और पी सी सो दैट यू कैन यूज लिनक्स लर्न लिनक्स एक्सप्लोर लिनक्स एंड डू वट एवर यू कैन विथ योर लिनक्स इन्वायरमेंट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल लिनक्स और ओबन टू ऑन योर लैपटॉप और पी सी ईजिली एंड आफ्टर दैट हाउ यू कैन यूज इट कॉन्फिगर इट फॉर फ्यूचर पर्पज सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो okay so first we have to make bootable pen drive for that you need a pen drive obviously at least 8 gb of uh, pen drive and uh, second you have is ubuntu iso if you don't have the iso you can get it from the uh, internet uh, it's around it is around as you can see here it's around 4.58 gb okay and you can get that software from the official link of ubuntu okay so as you can see here this is the website and here you can download it uh in my case i have downloaded 20 23 okay so you can download it from this software or i will give you in the link okay so now you need another software that is rufus all the software link is in the description so don't you have to worry so this is rufus you need to install it okay and uh, run it so this is the dashboard of the rufu software so here as you can see my 64 gb pen drive sandisk pen drive is auto automatically detected okay now second option is boot selection so select the option and locate the iso where your ubuntu is okay so in my case i have uh, here ubuntu 220 0.04.2 okay in my case and the size is 4.82 gb so you can download it so click on open okay so now the partition scheme will uh, you have to choose okay so if there is two options mbr and gpt so in your case if you want to install uh, it in bios legacy mode okay so you need to choose mbr but most of the viewers as i am assuming are in gpt mode and uefi boot mode okay so you need to use no uh, you have boot mode is gp uh, gpt or mbr so you can do uh, system information here in the system information you can see uh, here bios mode so as you can see bios mode is right now uefi so if your bios mode is uefi you should you should choose gpt okay but if your bios mode is a uh, but if your bios mode is uh, legacy then you need to choose mbr okay so gpt i have selected uh, for the uefi boot mode now nothing you have to do just click on start okay and then it is warning you that all the data on the device will be lost so if you have any data in your usb pen drive you should uh, backup it to another location and click on okay so now it will create the bootable pen drive so after that let's move on to install the ubuntu so as you can see uh, i have uh, installed the usb and i have booted in the bios mode if you don't know how to boot in the bios mode then i will be tell you later in my case i have dell and as you can see here my usb sandisk pen drive is detected and my to entering my bios is f12 key okay for the dell pc or laptop for hp uh, i will tell you for lenovo all uh, you you just need to comment down below and i will tell you that uh, what is the method to access your bios okay so after that i have uh, click on as you can see try or install the ubuntu i have booted from the usb and as you can see here try or install the ubuntu option is coming so click on enter and uh, now wait for some time and it will now boot uh, load the os and uh, for the further installation okay 
so in majority of cases the to enter in bios you do, uh, the key is del button as you can see on the keyboard del button or f12 button in majority of cases but still you can't access then please comment i will tell you uh, according to your computer manufacturer okay so as you can see the desktop has come and after a few seconds there is a pop-up come okay and as you can see here there is two option try ubuntu on the left side and install ubuntu on the right side so you can also try the ubuntu before installing uh, in your system okay so how it's feel how it do so you can also choose the left button but right now for, we will go for the install ubuntu option okay so i will click on install ubuntu and now uh, the first thing is it is asking keyboard layout so as uh, by default english us will be okay for me uh, you can choose according to your location so after that uh, the network setup is uh, you should connect to the network for further updates basic updates so right now i am not going for uh, because right now i have not available wi-fi so i will go for this option but if you have a wi-fi then you can connect it okay so that during installation it will uh, update what it requires okay so i click on continue and uh, then after that it will ask for the as you can i have told you it is asking for the update and other software so it is asking what type would you like to install okay normal installation uh, normal installation it will install all the thing like web browser utilities office software and all but if you choose the second option minimum installation then only few softwares will be installed that is very essential that it will make your os very light but i will go from the in normal okay so now installation type has come and this is the most important uh, page in the installation okay so first option that is install ubuntu alongside them is for those who want to uh, install ubuntu dual boot as a dual boot okay so you can keep windows on the left side and uh, uh, ubuntu on the right side but the second option erase disk and install ubuntu is for those who totally want to remove the previous os and uh, like windows and want to install clean uh, linux environment okay the, what does what does that means that i am still very clearly saying that if you choose this option then all your hard disk data will be deleted that will as you can see here warning this will destroy the all the data on the partition okay so if you have a data important on your partition okay so please please back up it okay then you choose the second option okay for next video i will tell you that how you can keep the all remaining partition and only format windows so that you can install ubuntu uh, after deleting the windows but for that for the next videos this time only clean install okay now the time zone india now it that was the only most important thing so that you don't lose your data now all the things are easy who you are you can specify who you are you can choose your uh, username choose a password which is a, should we should be strong enough so that no one can intrude in your pc or laptop okay so now click on the next just remember my that step uh, installation type okay because i don't want to uh, delete or lose your data okay so comment down that uh, if you want to install the ubuntu alongside with your pa uh, partitions that you don't want to delete and only you want to delete the windows partition and all then install ubuntu then please comment down that yes i will i want this and i will create another video till then you can uh, subscribe and press the bell icon and now as you can see it's all easily installing almost finishing the copying file and it will started to installation so just wait here for some time okay so as you can see it is retrieving the files all the files that is needed to be installed okay as you can see here the and uh, it's for ubuntu code you can seeing here an operating system that is available to everyone developed for anyone that will just work for anything you need 
okay so as you can see here guys i want you to also tell about my channel that in scl tech uh, i create videos uh, in my niche is windows client videos like 7 10 and 11 the latest windows 11 uh, tips solutions troubleshootings and tutorials how you can configure all these things and the second most important thing is windows server okay windows server i have i am an it network system administrator so i will create videos related to windows server linux server i will create videos and networking videos so if you are interested in networking and these type of thing it network system administrator then you can also restart your life and subscribe to your to scl tech to learn this and as you can see we restart it and it is saying that please wait we are installing installation is finished just booting it so right now you just unplug the usb pen drive okay and now the grub boot grub bootloader is will be there that you see like windows okay now if you don't press any key it will all automatically boot into ubuntu but right now click on enter and we will be in our ubuntu and this first very first time ubuntu os is loading as you can see here uh, my i have a dell laptop and ubuntu is booting up okay so there oh, so there is our ubuntu finally installed and uh, let me show you the, from the settings and information what i have and you can see here it i my wi-fi is it network it okay so as you can see here uh, there is os type is 64 bit and os name is ubuntu 22.04.2 lts okay so that was the video guys thank you so much for watching okay so if you as i have already told if you if this video helps you then please like the video comment down um, which model you have and i will tell you how to go into bios or any problem you have if you installed very easily uh, on ubuntu on your laptop or pc please comment down thank you i will love to hear that and uh, last but not least you can subscribe to scl tech for networking windows server linux server and windows related videos and the last thing before signing off if you like this video and really help you you can also uh, give super thanks so that it will help me to buy a coffee if you want okay thank you so much for watching this video it really means to me thank you very much